for our entrance we shall take him number 134 glory and praise to our god glory and praise to our god who alone gives light to our days many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his ways we the daughters and sons of him who built the valleys and plains praise the wonders our god has done in every heart that sings Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings He bears to those who trust in His ways. Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we begin this Holy Eucharist, my dear brothers and sisters, let us remember the words of Jesus Christ, who says, Your sorrows will turn to joy. Let these words be our words to our brothers and sisters to strengthen them in this time of trouble. As we have gathered together, let us be reminded of our sinful state, asking the Lord to forgive all our sins. Altogether, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, bless Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who made your people partakers in your redemption, Grant, we pray, that we may perpetually render thanks for the resurrection of the Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul left Athens and went to Corinth, where he met a Jew called Aquila, whose family came from Pontus. He and his wife Priscilla had recently left Italy because an edict of Claudius had expelled all the Jews from Rome. Paul went to visit them, and when he found they were tent makers of the same trade as himself, he lodged with them and they worked together. Every Sabbath, he used to hold debates in the synagogues, trying to convert Jews as well as Greeks. After Silas and Timothy had arrived 
from Macedonia, Paul devoted all his time to preaching, declaring to the Jews that Jesus was the Christ. When they turned against him and started to insult him, he took his cloak and shook it out in front of them, saying, Your blood be on your own heads. From now on, I can go to the pagans with a clear conscience. Then he left the synagogue and moved to the house next door that belonged to a worshipper of God called Justice. Crispus, president of the synagogue, and his whole household all became believers in the Lord. A great many Corinthians who had heard him became believers and were baptized. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Our response is, the Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. The Lord has shown his salvation to the nation. Please repeat. The Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. Our response. The Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. The Lord has made known his salvation has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. Our response, The Lord has shown his salvation to the nation. Please stand for the gospel. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. I will not leave you often, says the Lord. I go, but I will come back to you, and your hearts will be full of joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In a short time you will no longer see me. And then a short time later you will see me again. Then some of his disciples said to one another, What does he mean? In a short time you will no longer see me, and then a short time later you will see me again, and I am going to the Father. What is this short time? We don't know what he means. Jesus knew that they wanted to question him so he said, you are asking one another what I meant by saying, in a short time you will no longer see me, and then a short time later you will see me again. I tell you most solemnly, you will be weeping and wailing while the world will rejoice. You will be sorrowful, but your sorrow will turn to joy. The Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's gospel passage brings to us two opposing ideas which are present in Jesus' speech itself. First one is, you will not see me. The second is, you will see me again. This sentence construction is typical of John's Gospel. Seeing refers to the physical presence of Jesus Christ. Not seeing me, Jesus refers to his death and his going to the Father. See me again refers to his presence again through the Holy Spirit. These sayings of Jesus assured of his constant presence among the first Christians. As we meditate upon this passage today, let us be assured of Jesus' presence in this current situation. As Good Shepherd, he will never desert his sheep. During this time of isolation, Many things may change, many things may go away from you, but Jesus will never. Let us unite ourselves once again in prayer so that all may feel the presence of Jesus Christ in their troubled times. Remember the words of Jesus, your sorrows will turn to joy. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you it more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, he never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with our Pope Francis, our Bishop Oswald Gracious and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us unite ourselves in this prayer that Jesus taught us so that we may all feel the presence of Jesus Christ all together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare our hearts, our minds, our entire being to receive Jesus spiritually at this moment. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. For our communion, our hymn number is hymn number 256. 256, Lord, make me like you. Lord, make me like you. Please make me like you. You are a servant, make me one too. O Lord, won't you give me your strength every day to build a community to follow your way? Whoever among you desires to be great must be the servant of all. For even the Son of Man came to serve and give his life for the world. Lord, make me like you. Please make me like you. You are a servant. Make me one too. O oh Lord, won't you give me your strength every day to build a community to follow your way. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, Increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. We shall recite our prayer for the fight against coronavirus. Together we say, Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. 
we come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat this sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, when we have Christ, we have everything. Our recessional hymn is hymn number 474. You have everything when you have Christ. You have everything when you have Christ. You are filled with God through your union, through your union with Christ. He is the highest ruler with authority over every other power. He is the highest ruler over every other power. You have everything when you have Christ. You have everything when you have Christ. You are filled with God through your union, through your union with Christ. Look for the things of heaven. You have died to sin, you have risen with the Lord. When Jesus comes in glory, you'll appear in glory too. You have everything when you have Christ. You have everything when you have Christ. You are filled with God through your union through your union with Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 